and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be looking back at all the books I read in 2020. Now I'm not going to do a big intro because I have a lot to get through. I'm going to be tier ranking all of them. I had a really hard time figuring out this tier ranking website. So I just spent like over an hour on it so I hope that you like this video pretty please. Um, so I'm just going to get right into it because I have 106 books to tier rank. So my categories are new favorites, four stars or more, or three stars, this, the middle, just pretty much like the middle ranking. I didn't like it, I don't remember it, and I'm doing rereads as a separate column as well. So let's get started with the books I read this year. The first book I read is Me by Elton John. I think that's going to go in the four stars. I gave it a five stars, but it's not necessarily a new favorite of mine. I'm not necessarily going to go back and read it over and over again. Next is Girls of Paper and Fire by N Natasha Nagan. I do remember really liking this book, but honestly at this point I just don't remember it because I read it in January and that was a really long time ago, so that's just how it is for now. Next I read A New Model by Ashley Graham. I, did rem I do remember liking this and I do remember some of the stories, so I think I am going to put it in like four plus stars. I don't remember every single detail of the book, but I do remember really liking it and liking her personality. Next, Capturing the Devil by Carrie Maniscalco is one of my top favorite books of the year, so that's definitely going into new favorites. Next, Little Women by Louisa May Alcott was a reread, so that'll go into the reread section. Next is Faker by Sarah Smith. I did really enjoy this one. I don't remember the exact rating I gave it, a four or five stars, so I'm going to put it into the four plus stars category. Then I guess I did a reread of The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak. If I'm being completely honest, I don't remember doing that. I must, I think I listened to the audiobook. I really don't know. So that's just going to go into the reread section though. Next is Shadow of Night by Deborah Harkness. I did really enjoy this book. I still think I like A Discovery of Witches better than the second one. I haven't read the third one yet, but that's going to go in the four stars um, section because I still like think about it a lot. Then there is Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. And while I remember vaguely liking this one, I don't remember a single detail about the book other than that it had the dual timeline thing. I don't remember what happened. I don't remember the characters, their names, the mystery. I I couldn't tell you what that book was about. Then is Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. While I did finally finish this series this year, this one was technically a reread. I had read this the first one before back when I was like 14. Then Twilight by Stephanie Meyer, which was obviously a reread. I um, reread this before even knowing about Midnight Sun. I just felt like a comfort read and hmm, I loved it again, obviously. Then there is Frostbite by Rochelle Mead as well, the second in the Vampire Academy series. This one was also a reread. I read this one back when I read the first one, and but this was the last of that I had read back when I was in high school. The other ones were all the first time reading them. Then there is Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating by Christina Lauren. I really enjoyed this one. There's a lot of people I know who don't like the twist at the end in this one, but it is my favorite trope if I'm being completely honest. I don't know if I would qualify it as a new favorite because there's also like fade to black scenes that I wasn't a fan of. So I think that's just going to go in like the four plus stars. Like I liked it, but it's not a new favorite. The next one is Shadow Kiss by Rochelle Mead. Now I'm going to be honest. The rest of the Vampire Academy a series I read, not back to back, but I read them all really close together, and I don't know where one begins and one ends, because I read them all so close together, and I loved all of them, so I'm going to put just the rest of the Vampire Academy series in new favorites, because I loved the series as a whole, I just don't remember which book ends where, but I loved them all. Then is The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary which I wish I had made another middle category because I didn't love this one, but I didn't hate it either. So I guess it's going to go in like the four star category. It was good. I just, um, I like, and I still remember it quite well. I just, it wasn't a new favorite. And there is Giddy Life Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. I did really enjoy this one. It didn't quite make a new favorite for me like I know it did for a lot of people, but I'm going to put it in the four star category. 
Next is Blood Promise by Rochelle Mead, the next in the Vampire Academy series. That's gonna go into my favorites category. Then I apparently read Break Your Glass Slippers by Amanda Lovelace. I fully do not remember this at all. I don't remember reading it. I don't remember what the poems are about. So that's gonna go in the I don't remember category. Next is the Spirit Bound book by Rochelle Mead, the next in the Vampire Academy series. So I'm gonna put that one in favorites. Then there is Pinch of Sugar by Jessica Kane. This was a little romance novella that I really enjoyed. I think it's not going to be like something I go back and reread a lot, but I thought she was a pretty good writer and it was a fun little novella that didn't have a lot of like serious development, but I did enjoy the characters. So I think it'll go in like the four stars. I think I gave it a three stars, but I did make that as category. So then I read Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone and Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. So those will obviously go into the reread category. And last in the Vampire Academy series was Last Sacrifice by Rochelle Mead. This will go into the new favorites. I think, I think this one was my favorite in this series. I don't know. I loved them all. I really loved the end of this one. And I can't wait to start Bloodlines in 2021 so I can start revisiting all these characters again. The next one is I listened to Tweet Cute by Emery Lord, I think is the author's name. I can't actually see the whole cover on here. But I really like this one. I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. it. I think I gave it a three or a four stars, so it'll go into the four stars category. Next, uh, I read Of Curses and Kisses by Sandia Manon. I had really high hopes for this one because I love When Dimple Met Rishi and the, like, that series, but I, I didn't really like this book. It was very confusing, unremarkable. I didn't really like... It was almost like there was some sort of magical realism element that I didn't really vibe with, so I I just... I didn't like it. Next one is New Moon by Stephanie Meyer, which was obviously a reread, so that'll go into the reread category. Next, I read Dark Radiance by Alison Ulrich. I did this as a book for review from a local published... self-published author, and I really enjoyed it, so that'll go into the four stars category. Next, I reread Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban as part of my big Harry Potter reread I did this year, so that will go into the rereads category. Next, I read If I Never Met You by Mahari McFarlane. I can't see the author's name. And I, I don't remember this at all. I don't remember the characters. I don't remember how they knew each other. I think it was a workplace romance. I think there was an elevator. I don't remember. I couldn't tell you what it was about. Then is The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins, which was probably one of my most anticipated books for the year, um, but it was also one of my least favorite books of the year, so that's gonna have to go and I didn't like it. It was such a disappointment. Next, I reread the Selection series by Kiara Cass, The Selection, The Elite, and The One, which were all rereads. I loved doing the reread of that series. I did it in like a weekend. It was so much fun. Next is Love or Love Her or Lose Her by Tessa Bailey. I really like Tessa Bailey's writing. It was such a fun book. This was a second chance romance, which is not my favorite trope, but I did still really enjoy this book. She is such a good romance writer. So that will go into the four stars category. Next, I reread Eclipse by Stephanie Meyer, so that'll go into the reread column. Next is A Very Large Expanse of Sea by Tahara Mafi. Now, I know a lot of people liked this book, and I wanted to like it. I just was really bored and didn't really like any of the characters. I liked the social commentary, but I didn't vibe with the characters at all, so that's gonna have to go into the I didn't like it category. Next, I reread Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, so that'll go into my rereads category. The next one is The Worst Best Man by Mia Sosa, which I really, really enjoyed. It wasn't quite a new favorite, but it'll definitely go into the four star category. So the next one is The Wedding Date by Jasmine Gilroy, or I don't know how to say her last name, but I really loved that one. That one's going to go into new favorites because... I love this series. I think the first one, The Wedding Date, is still my favorite, but it was just such a fun read. Then there is Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rosh, which I really enjoyed. It had a very unique magic system. It's probably not a new favorite, but it is at least a four plus stars. Then the next in the Wedding Date series is The Proposal. This one was really funny and I did like it, but this one's probably just going to go in the four plus stars read. Then there is The Honey Don't List by Christina Lauren, which 
a lot of romance reader have, readers have not liked that one this year. That was, I think, this year's release for them. But I really liked it, and I thought it had some really interesting representation in it. So I'm going to put that in the four plus stars category. Next, a book I have talked a lot about this year, and that is Conventionally Yours by Annabeth Albert. I really like Annabeth Albert as a writing, writer, and the setting of Comic-Con in this book was just absolutely incredible, so that's going to go into a new favorites category. Then I read Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare, which I absolutely adored. It's going to go into new favorites just because it's Cassandra Clare, basically. I did think it was a bit confusing to try and understand who everyone was and how they were related and how they were related to the Infernal Devices series, but I did really enjoy it. She always has so many good twists and turns and I cannot wait for Chain of Iron. Next I listened to The Accidental Beauty Queen by Terry Wilson. I actually remember this book but I didn't like it. It was quite boring. Um, I wanted to like it because it had such an interesting premise but it wasn't really for me. Then I finally started the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas. I really liked the first one. I'm gonna put the first one in new favorites um, because that one was very exciting and interesting and I am hoping to finish that series this year. Next is The Wedding Party by Jasmine Gilroy. This one is going to go in four plus favorite or four plus reads as well because I liked this one but it's still I didn't like it as much as The Wedding Date. Then one of the few nonfiction books I read this year is this intuitive eating book. I'm going to put that in four plus stars read. It's not like it's a favorite book of mine because it's nonfiction, um, but I did learn a lot and I really liked it. Next is Crown of Midnight by Sarah J Maas. I really liked this one. I think thus far this is my favorite in the series, which I think is a very unpopular opinion, but I really liked it. Um, so that one's going to go in favorites as well alongside Throne of Glass. Then I read Oopsie Daisy by Iris Moreland, I think is the author's name. That could be completely wrong. I really liked this book. It was a short little romance with one of my favorite tropes, which is surprise pregnancy. So I'm going to put that in the four plus stars category. Then there is Royal Holiday by Jasmine Gilroy, which is the next in that series. And I, I liked it, I guess, but I didn't like it as much as the other ones. It's going to go in the I didn't like it category, actually, because... It wasn't bad, but I didn't like the characters that were so much older than the other books. And like, I just, how am I supposed to connect with someone who's 30 years my senior? So I didn't really, didn't really vibe with it. Uh, the next ones is I reread A Court of Thrones and Roses by Sarah J Maas and A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Maas and then A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Maas and loved all of them, obviously. Next is Neanderthal Seeks Human by Penny Reed. I'd heard a lot of good things about Penny Reed, but it did not work out. So I'm going to go and put that in the I didn't like it category. It was not for me. It was really weird. Not super well written. So I, I don't know if I'll be picking up any more of her books. Next is Hold Me Cowboy by Maisie Yates. I really liked this book. I'm really liking Maisie Yates' writing. I had so much fun with this book. It's not necessarily a new favorite, but it is definitely a four stars or more. Next is Moonlight Over Manhattan by Sarah Morgan. I really enjoyed this book as well. This was part of the Christmas in Julyathon, like that Maisie Yates book. I, when I first read this, I thought about putting it in like a new favorites category, but I think I'm actually going to put it in the four stars or more category right now, because while I really loved it, it could have been a little steamier. I don't remember. I think it was more like a fade to black type of book, and I... I really liked it, but I think it could have been a little bit more. Next is Chasing Christmas Eve by Jill Shalvis. I really enjoyed this one as well. I think I gave it a four stars, so I'm going to put that in the four stars category. Next is Party of Two by Jasmine Gilroy, the latest book in the Wedding Date series. This one is going to go in favorite books with Wedding Party, I mean The Wedding Date, because I really enjoyed this one. It was such a fun read, and I really, really liked these characters and their chemistry. Next is 25 Days Till Christmas by Poppy Alexander. That's going to go in the I didn't like it, because at first, the first, like, 70% of the book, I was like, wow, this is good. It's, it's festive. There's, like, a really light romance aspect. And then the end of it was so weird. It was so weird. I don't understand why she wrote it like that. So I was not a fan. 
Next is the Rogue Fifth Avenue by Joanna Shoup, which I'm sure you've heard me talk a lot about. It's going straight to new favorites because I absolutely adored it. Joanna Shoup is now my favorite romance author and I'm very excited to continue reading her backlist. Next is the Bromance Book Club. I can't remember the author's name. I really liked this one. I thought it was really fun. I'm gonna put that in the four stars or plus. Um, it was a really fun read and I really liked these characters. Next I finally got around to reading A, Cro a Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J Maas for the first time and while this was more of a novella type of thing there wasn't much of a plot. It was just sort of that in between between the first three and what is to come. I really liked it because it got to explore Nesta quite a bit more, so I'm going to put it in the new favorites. Next I reread Breaking Dawn, so that will go in the reread section. Then the other Joanna Shoot book in that series, the next one is The Prince of Broadway, which is going to go straight to new favorites, not just because it's Joanna Shoop, but because that book was so good. Then I read The Boyfriend Project by Farah Rakhon. I don't know how to say her last name. Um, I didn't like it. This book was so confusing and so weird and I, it was, I didn't like the characters. I didn't like their relationship. I just, it wasn't for me. Then I finally got around to rereading Harry Potter in the Order of the Phoenix, which was a reread and I really enjoyed that. Then I read The Trouble with Hating You by Sanji Patel, which I really really wanted to love because I love the cover, but it was such a boring book and I hated the heroine. I just did not vibe with her, so I really did not like that book. Then I read The Twilight Saga, The Official Illustrated Guide. I do believe this was a reread, so I will put it in the reread section. And then I read Take a Hint Danny Brown by Talia Hibbert, which I really enjoyed. It's not a new favorite. I, I think I'm in the minority with that. Everyone really, really loved Chloe Brown and Danny Brown, but I didn't I didn't love the character of Danny. She really was very different from my personality, I think, and that's why I didn't really get along with her as well. But I still liked the book and I think I gave it a four stars. Next is Blended by Sharon M. Draper, which is a middle grade that I read for a book club um, with Allie Reads, was that Mrs. Dunn Reads, um, on YouTube, and I really enjoyed it. It's not necessarily a new favorite because it's not the kind of middle grade that I would consider a favorite, but I did really enjoy it and I think it was really, really well written. Next is The Devil of Downtown by jo Joanna Shoup, and I think we know exactly where that's going. It's going straight up to favorites because it was just so good. I love this series so much and I can't wait to read more Joanna Shoup. Then I tried my first Tessa Dare book. I read Any Just Duchess Will Do. I did really enjoy this book. It's not going to go to favorites though. This I want to read more Tessa Dare, but this one wasn't exactly what I was looking for. I didn't I didn't like f completely fall in love with the characters. I really liked them. I think I gave it a four or maybe even a five stars. It's just not necessarily a new favorite book. Next I read Destiny's Captive I think it's called by Beverly Jenkins. I enjoyed this book. It wasn't exactly what I was looking for. I think I'm gonna have to put it in I didn't like it because I really liked Beverly Jenkins writing and I liked the characters but I didn't it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. I was expecting a pirate romance, I was expecting a lot of adventure, and it ended up being a lot more domestic than um, what I thought it was going to be. So I liked her writing, I just didn't love the way the plot went. Next is Dreaming of You by Lisa Kleypas. I think this is going to go to favorites because while I can't remember every detail in this book, I really loved Derek. So, And the first chapter of this book just hooked me, it was so good. Next is Seduce Me by Christmas by Deborah Rayleigh. I really liked this book. It was fun. It wasn't perfect. It's not a new favorite, but I think I gave it a three or a four stars. Next is Undercover Bromance by Lissa K. Adams. I liked the first one in the series, but I didn't really like this one. I'm going to go with I didn't like it um, because it just, I didn't really like the characters as much. So we'll see if I like the next one better. I don't know. Next I read another middle grade, Other Words for Home, which I did really enjoy. Again, it's not the type of middle grade I would consider my favorite because it's not fantasy, but I did enjoy it and I think I gave it a four stars. Next is How to Dance with the Duke by Amanda Collins, which I 
have raved about on my channel quite a lot, so it's going straight up to favorite. My camera is going to die soon, so I really need to start talking faster. I also read Girl Gone Viral by Alicia Ray. I think my camera cut me off while I was talking about that one, but I put it in the four stars plus category. Lastly, I have Awkward by Avery Flynn. I'm going to put that in the four stars plus category too because it has my favorite trope of a surprise pregnancy. Next, I had to do two separate tabs on this website because I couldn't get all the pictures to upload to one chart, so this was my only solution I could think of. I have The Betrothed by Kira Cass, which was probably my least favorite book of the year. It was a dumpster fire. I'm so sorry. I love Kira Cass. I don't know why this book was just not it. I didn't like it. I wish I didn't read. Next is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, which was a reread, and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, which was a reread. And then there is The Hating Game by Sally Thorne, which was also a reread, but I absolutely loved it. And I tried The Last Time I Lied by Rayleigh Sager, and I really, really did not enjoy it. So that's going to go in the I didn't like it category. Then I read The Harvest, which I, I liked. I didn't love it, but it was very entertaining. So I'm going to put that in the four stars plus category. Then I read The Secrets We Kept, which I liked, but it's definitely not a new favorite. It was entertaining, though, and I read it on a recommendation. So I'm going to put that in the four stars plus category as well. Next, I read another Joanna Shoup. I read A Daring Arrangement. I'm going to put that in favorites, even though I can't specifically remember the plot of this one. It's a Joanna Shoup, so it's just going in favorites by default. <laughs> and then I read Duke's Preferred Blondes by Loretta Chase. I enjoyed this one. It just wasn't my absolute favorite, so I'm going to put it in four stars plus. Then I read The Harlot Countess by Joanna Shoup, and you guessed it, it's going to go to new favorites. <laughs> And then I reread The Hobbit by J.A.R. Tolkien, so that'll go in the reread section. And then uh, I read Midnight Sun twice this year. I listened to it on audiobook the second time, and I had read it the first time when it first came out back in August. So that is obviously going to new favorites. Are we surprised? No. And then I read Crave by Tracy Wolf. I'm going to put that in new favorites as well. Even though it took me a long time to get into, I did really end up enjoying it. So that's going to go into favorites. Then we have one to watch by an author whose name I can't remember and I liked some of this book but overall it was really boring and I didn't really understand the point of it and I didn't like the like bachelor's setting like the tv show setting because I don't watch any of those shows so I'm not sure why I thought I was gonna like this book but I'm gonna put it in the I didn't like it section and then there is Claiming the Rancher's Heir by Maisie Yates I really enjoyed this one it was a fun read and I'm gonna put it in the four stars plus category Next I have Tremaine's True Love by Grace Burroughs, which was another one of my least favorite books of the year, so I'm going to put that in the I didn't like it category. Then there is Wrapped Up in You by Jill Shalvis. I really enjoyed this Christmas read. It wasn't the best book I've ever read, but I will put it in the four stars plus category. Then I did read Air of Fire, the third book in the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Moss. Now contrary to popular opinion, Everyone else says this is their favorite book in the series. This was not my favorite book in the series. The other two are in my new favorites, but this one's just going to go in the four stars plus because one, I can't get past the whole um, related thing and it just like nothing happened in it. Nothing happened in it. And then they killed the one character I liked at the end, so whatever. Next is My Fake Rick by Eva Lee. I am going to put this in new favorites. I absolutely adored reading this historical romance. I read it as part of Crystal Bookish Life's um, Rake Appreciation Book Club and I had so much fun. We got to talk to the author and she was just so sweet and this book was so good and it had a lot of my favorite tropes in it. Then I read Swimming Lessons by Lily Reinhart. I didn't love this book but I did really like listening to the audiobook. That was a cool way to listen to it and I think I gave it a three or four stars so it'll go in the four stars category. Next I read An Arc of Lore by Alexander Bracken and I wish I hadn't filmed my favorite books of the year before reading this because this has become one of my favorite books of the year and I absolutely adored it so it'll go in new favorites. Next I read Some Like It Wild by Teresa Medeiros and I really enjoyed this one. It wasn't absolutely mind-blowing but I did like it so it'll go into the four stars category. Then I listened to A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens for the first time and I really liked it. It was fun. I wish I could actually like go and see the play this year but we weren't able to obviously so I just listened to the audiobook and it was a nice little festive thing to do. It'll go in the four stars category. 
And lastly, the last book I finished in 2020 was A Wanted Man by Linda Lil Miller. I did not expect to like this book that this much, but I think it's going to have to go to the favorites category because I, I really loved it. I'm definitely going to be picking up more by her because this book was so good. So those are all the books I read in 2020. That was so many. I, yeah, I don't know if I'll be doing this tier ranking thing again next year because I, this website and me do not get along apparently, but I hope you enjoyed this um, video. I hope you come back for more. There's quite a bit of content I have planned and I'm really, really excited to be working on my booktube channel this year. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what one of your favorite books this year was in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.